This customer wants to add an outlet outside because he's putting a sprinkler timer where his pool equipment is. So I'm gonna install a bell box to the wall with a GFI outlet and an outdoor weatherproof cover. And I'm gonna install a new breaker in the panel after I run seal tight conduit from the panel to the new location with number 12 wire because it's a 20 amp circuit. It's always easier to make up the outlet box when it's not mounted to the wall. So I'm just gonna run the wire through the seal tight and then I'm gonna install the seal tight into the box and I'll put the, the outlet into the box and then I'll mount the box to the wall. So now that I have my wires landed into the box and attached to my GFI outlet, now I can install the GFI into the box and then I can install the weatherproof cover. So now that I have the GFI all assembled nice, now I can mount the box to the fence. Now I'll land the seal tight. So I remove the two screws and then the panel cover comes off. And now I can pop a KO out of the bottom. Just like that. And then I can land my conduit. Into the bottom of the panel. And then put the lock nut on. And then I can install the breaker after I put the grounds and the neutrals on the bus bar. I landed my neutral to the neutral bus and my ground to the ground bus and now I can install my new 20 amp breaker. So I'm just gonna stick the wire into the terminal of the breaker and then I'm gonna tighten the screw nice and tight and then I'm just gonna snap the right side of the breaker in making sure the breaker's off and then after the right side goes in you can snap the left in just like that and now when I turn this on my GFI has power now I can put the cover back on in order to put the cover on you got to remove the blank so that the breaker will fit and now I can install the two screws. I got the cover installed. I always like to plug my tester in just to make sure I got it wired correctly. And that's your end result.